In this video, you will learn how to find the volume of a rectangular prism with whole number edge lengths by packing it with unit cubes. First, let's review some important ideas. Volume is the number of cubic units needed to fill the space inside a three-dimensional figure. We find the volume of a rectangular prism by multiplying its length times its width times its height. When we're dealing with cubes, the length, the width, and the height are all the same length, so we can simply cube the side length. In other words, we multiply the side length times the side length times the side length. We are going to find the volume of this cube by packing it with unit cubes. The first thing we need to do then is analyze one unit cube. If I look carefully at the illustration, I can see that the dimensions of this unit cube must be one inch by one inch by one inch. The reason I know this is because the side lengths of my larger blue cube are three inches, and three cubes fit across each side length. The unit cube's volume, then, is going to be one cubic inch. I multiply one times one times one, which gets me one. The reason I'm going to use cubic inches is to stand for the three dimensions of the cube. The cube has a length, a width, and a height. Now that I know the volume of one little unit cube, I need to figure out how many little cubes make up the blue larger cube. And I see right here that this cube is made up of three separate layers. When I look at one layer, I see that it is made up of nine little cubes. And I remember, of course, that each little cube has a volume of one cubic inch. When I go ahead and I add up nine cubic inches plus nine cubic inches plus nine cubic inches, because there are three layers, I learn that the volume of my large blue cube is 27 cubic inches. All I did was I counted up the number of little cubes in the larger cube to determine the larger cube's volume. There is, of course, a more traditional method of finding the volume of a cube, which involves taking the side length and cubing it. That's what I did, in fact, when I found the volume of a little unit cube. So I'm going to do that here, and I'm going to take three times three times three. Three times three is nine, and nine times three is 27. So I have verified that the packing method does, in fact, work. Let's try packing this rectangular prism with unit cubes to see if we can determine its volume. This rectangular prism has dimensions of two centimeters by two centimeters by three centimeters. In order to analyze one unit cube, I need to first determine its dimensions. Just like my last unit cube, this one will be one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter. In other words, the unit cube has a volume of one cubic centimeter. Cubic, or that little three that we see next to the word centimeter, stands for the fact that volume involves three dimensions, length, width, and height. I'm going to look at the different layers that compose this prism, as I did with the last example, and I see that this prism is made up of two distinct layers. When I look at one layer, I see that it is made up of six tiny little cubes, and I recall that each little cube has a volume of one cubic centimeter. I'm going to put my rectangular prism back together. I'm going to add six cubic centimeters to six cubic centimeters, which is the volume of each layer. And that gives me a total volume of 12 cubic centimeters. I'm going to verify once again that the packing method worked by checking it against a more traditional method. Here I'm going to use the volume formula for a rectangular prism, which is length times width times height. In place of L, W, and H, I substitute in two, two, and three. And when I multiply those together, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, I learn that the volume of the rectangular prism is indeed 12 cubic centimeters. In this video, you learned how to find the volume of a rectangular prism with whole number edge lengths by packing it with unit cubes.